Today we are going to do a cutback on this bridge that we designed on a previous video. We're gonna do a cutback on the teeth and also on the gingiva. You need to export the scene to mesh. Because we need to use other settings to do a cutback on the gingiva and also on the teeth. We're gonna select reduce to oxide. The laterals are screw retained. Don't use scan body because the buttons are already scanned. And for the centrals we select Pontix and select extra gingiva scan. So save the project and start designing. After bringing up the models, set up the margins. After setting up the margins, we have the wax up adapted to the margins now. And now we're gonna do the reduction. I just want to do a buckle cutback, and for that we select uh, exclude selected parts. And now, as you can see, everything is yellow. Usually I go mark all, and then paint the part that I want just to reduce. Whatever is blue uh, stays full contour, the yellow part is going to be reduced. I always like to keep the incisal edges in zirconia because it will protect the porcelain so it doesn't chip off. Leave the, the area that stays in contact with the soft tissue in full contour so you can polish the zirconia later on, which is the most biocompatible thing you can have. All the contact points, the proximal contact points, are leave it in, in zirconia as well. So after everything is painted, we play around with the depth.
let's go for 0 0.6 millimeters see if you are happy with the shapes go next and now we can just smooth out a bit some areas Now in the GNGV I like to have space, deeper areas in between the teeth, so you can make it a darker color, like this. And we can do some mammalian anatomy. And in these areas, close them, because the milling machine won't be able to recreate this groove, so it's going to be connected after being milled. This happened because I didn't bring the connectors all the way up, which we always should. So just close them. And there you have it, a buccal cutback 